Okay. Time to download the red. To download. We type an email address. Like they have one already. In this case, it's a minus is a hot number from. Then you click download. Success. It is email key. And you go down to email client, which in this case, I know, and click on the link provided. You should take away. You need to download an ABSL2 connection. Go through the setup. Should take all. Yeah, just with awesome yes. Okay, yes, so yeah, you have greedy red and the compiler. What you should also have installed is three red do sketch up seven. Professionals, we need professionals, otherwise this will not work. You can find various places. Like, crack slides. You can, like, death it enough. Big crack slides. Whatever. Um, you also need Blender. If you haven't got, um, a pre installed project for. Google SketchUp 7 to convert to um, a DirectX format model. Yeah, I got 2.49. You delete the square before you put any models in, or else it will stuff up. Okay, so I've got all this stuff. Now, what do we do? Now you aren't. Now, create a model. Who is switching? Okay, so let's move this person and check. Okay, remembering that the green axis is up and the blue is red. So anything following this green axis is up. So this should be standing upwards. If I pull it like this, and when I import it, it be standing upwards. So that's why I move it in. Lock in the okay. No, that's just not really. Super like that. Um, I'm exactly wanting to go in the center of it. Yeah. yeah, and then you can rotate it around it. So you can say it will be up. That's like the main point, so it's like the key point of it. So you can pull it and you make that bit level the ground. You couldn't see if this would be on the ground. The rest of it. If you put this in the middle, then yeah, when you import it, it would be this is like the center point, it's where the rotation and stuff can 
Like that is from the old gate. You know, I'll just keep like this one out. Five. Four. Three. Four. And it's called as a object file. You can have curved surfaces, which stops it from triangulating surfaces, which is really useful. It's really ugly. Really, really, really ugly. It's good. It's good into sort of models. Now to the top. Yeah. And you open up the window. There you go. Make sure you delete this. Make sure it's like colored. With one colored from the top of just a bell button and keyboard. Every keyboard has one, for sure. This is definitely all that stupid. Then you um import your object. So here. I'm gonna spam the bottom, yes, wave from object. D D D Block. Simple. Just keep everything the same. Yes. Green is off. So you can see it. Like that. That's how I remember it. So make an object, rotate it the last minute. We export it, make green off. We export this to the like So this line. This way. You can make anything. And then you can just do that piano, just to record it from, and then import it. Wrong, and then it. Yes, okay, good. You should be in the folder. Open it. Here, D, D, F, slash models. Okay, and that is that's it. And then see drop it file and then follow my other tutorial on YouTube to direct you to to um to the rest of it. Import it, get the batch files and everything. Uh I'll put a link to the description of it. Uh annotation for the link to the next video. Which is basically just the same thing again. But for 3DS, which triangulates the surfaces, which is like really stupid. I hate it. Try to import a card off the 3D warehouse and Google, and it triangulated it, and it was really stupid. And it made it ruin the whole card. And I found if you use OBJ, it does not triangulate, and people curl surfaces as curves and everything. It looks real good compared to. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'm keep OJ OJ experiment with different file formats. Comment which one's the best. I think OJ so far. I haven't tried any other one. I haven't been bothered to. It's hard to so much work. That one. Goodbye for now.